Dr. Park, thank you so much for your wonderful introduction. Cal UMS President David Park, South Baylor President Jason Shin, faculty, staff, graduates, and families. It is indeed an honor and privilege to stand before you and thank you so much for inviting me to speak on this most memorable day. I was impressed to learn that you, the student of South Baylor University and California University of Management and Sciences, represents over 32 countries. Some of you have traveled as far as 8,000 miles to realize your dream of an education at one of these great institutions. Sacrifices have been made by you and your family to reach your goals. Today, I would like to share a little about my American journey. In 1977, the year South Baylor was established in Los Angeles, at the age of 23, I was on a plane to America, a country that I only knew from TV or history books. As I flew to the destination that day, I asked myself, what will this country afford me? How quickly will I learn English well enough to speak my mind? But most importantly, how will I make a difference in this new land of opportunity? When I arrived in the US, of course, I faced many challenges to make a living, raise a family, and master a new language. But I work hard every day. I believe that doing my best was all I could do to advance myself. I went into sales and over the years, rose to senior management at Circuit City. However, I kept asking myself, what is next? What is my calling? How can I make a difference? An event in 1992 changed my life. The Los Angeles riot, as we all remember. There was looting, assault, and arson. People died. Hundreds of Korean businesses burned to the ground. Hard-working merchants watched their life's work disappear. I felt a great injustice had occurred and realized that I had to get involved. I could either watch and do nothing or learn and make a difference. The events of 1992 led me to my passion to build coalitions, friendships, to bridge gaps and create trust, and to focus on the strength that diversity holds if we work together, not apart. I became deeply involved politically and in community service. My calling was clear. Build foundations to strengthen people and community while breaking down walls of misunderstanding. So I ran for city council and won the seat in November 2004 where my vote could make a difference. In November 2008, I ran for mayor, and I became the first Korean-American mayor in a major US city. And I'm proud of the fact that Irvine was recognized as the safest big city in the United States for eight straight years throughout my tenure as city council member and mayor. But coming to America many years ago, I never dreamed of holding a public office. Through life experiences, I found my calling. My challenge to you is to find your calling. If, thank, you. thank you. If you see things that need changing, don't wait for someone else to step up to the plate. 
roll up your sleeves and do the hard work necessary to address the challenges in your community, the, our country, and of course, our world. So make a difference. Looking out at all of you, I see diversity. Diversity of cultures, strength, and talents. Diversity will define our future generation of leaders. The richly diverse learning environment you have experienced over the past couple of years will help you define you as you embark on a new journey of, of your next phase of life. So you are indeed educated. Now be proactive as you realize your aspirations, listen to others, and set your goals. To quote the great speaker, Zig Ziglar, you need a plan to build a house. To build a life, it is even more important to have a plan or a vision. The publication, Personal Excellence, outlines profound reasons for setting goals. One, they provide clarity on your end vision. Two, they drive you forward. Three, they give you laser focus. Four, they make you accountable. Five, they help you achieve your highest potential. But lastly, and the most importantly, they ensure you get the best out of life. So take time and to set your goal for your bright futures. Wherever you land, whether it is on an airplane to a new destination or a job down the street, know that you will have one distinct advantage. You have all the tools learned at these great institutions and gathered in life to make career choices and life-changing decisions. Accomplish the extraordinary, whether it is in business, medicine, politics, education, or any field you pursue. Robert F. Kennedy once said, the purpose of life is to contribute in some way to making things better. So I challenge you this morning, as the next generation of leaders, to make a difference in this world. Make your sacrifices to get here more meaningful. Capitalize on the diverse learning environment you have had the pledge, pleasure to experience. But find your passion and take action. Go forward and get the best out of your life. Thank you so much and congratulations.